Hi there, name's Marlon Bridgepenny. Nice to meet you. A lot of people ask me for photography advice, as they should, because I'm a vlogger. So you're gonna get great advice today. We got 10 people, let's kill them. With kindness. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Penny Boy G9 with the Young Newell 42.5mm 21.7 autofocusing lens. I like those odds. I've set it to a 21.7 to completely obliterate the background. At some point, I'm going to switch to the Canon EOS R with 35mm 21.8 with a black promis filter after I turn on my YouTube lights. Where's the button? Yeah, that just happened. Is it leaking onto my face? Our first contestant repeating his comment over several videos. Listen, hobos, you say it once. I see every comment. If I didn't answer you, it's because you suck. You bored me to death. I'm tired of cheap Chinese phones. Don't be racist. Chinese people are still good people. Don't. <laughs> but I can't afford much. Should I get the Fuji X-T200 for vlogs and simple YouTube? What the? Haven't you seen my review on it? You can't, they're unusable preamps. You can't hear a damn thing that's like, yes, okay. If you have a cat show, you're just like, you could dub the sound. X-T200 might be okay for photography, but it's bullshit. They have the best flippy screen in the business and the worst video output. Saddens my heart. Just get a little action cam. Sony X3000, DJI Osmo Action. When's the Mark II coming? What the hell are you taking so long for? Unlike Panasonic autofocus. Wow. I helped you. You could get by with the Sony ZV-1 if you want to step it up a notch. Canon M50, Fuji XS10. There's your range. Sleep in there. Okay, which would you go for? Fuji X-T3 with 18 to 55 OIS or Fuji XS10 IBIS? and 16 mil 21.4 for vlogging. Wow. Okay. There's a, that's a, oh, I like it. I see you. For me personally, the OIS is not enough. Even with IBIS, the X-T4 and that 18 to 55, still jittery. You need digital on top of it to smooth things out. So there's your answer already. That's not smooth enough. And that's with me. I've seen so many times People using the exact same setup I'm using, and it's unusable. It's so shaky, I'm like, how do you walk? Stop thundering around, T-Rex. XS10, yes. Fuji X, 16 mil with that. You could do it. It's not quite as good as the X-T4 Ibis, but with digital stave, you got it. Just be careful, hold it tight. As you step, it's the loose grip that Fs you. So, mm, strong arm it, smooth, slow. I covered my herpes. I love your work. What is your opinion on the Olympus 60mm 2.8 macro lens? I need to shoot some elephants. 60mm macro lens for the elephant. He's gonna trample you and your whole family and your Jeep. How's the surviving members of your family gonna make it back to the camp? to alert the others to drag your dead body home to the cat so he can feed the cat. And then the other guy with the X-T200 can film the whole thing with his hissy preamps. Don't worry, I got the audio covered. How would I know? It sounds like a great lens. If you can get close, Kenya, I doubt it. I punned you. You probably didn't even catch it. I said Kenya, like the country where there's elephants. Oh boy, I've been debating getting a long lens for the wildlife, it's fun. But the systems, I don't trust that Penny would actually have the animal in focus for very long. And it wasn't very stable even with the optical dual stave of the 100 to 400. Not so impressed. Would Olympus do better? Maybe. Doubt it. So your options are slim. I hope the elephant kills you. This is the worst composition I've ever had in my life. Why is the mic so far away from me too? What the hell am I doing? I need to move that thing.
Dear Camera Conspiracies, I'm a French YouTuber and 90% of my content is filmed with a GoPro 7 Black. For intros, outros, and road trips, I film myself with a phone, Samsung S10, to get some tonne in my life. But even with good lighting, it looks cheap as F. How you, you got a phone to get tonne? You're a bitch, you're a bitch made. I have 1,000 euros and I was gonna go for the ZV-1 but I'll buy whatever the Squirrel B-Roll Master tells me to. Cool. Road trips, intros, like just keep your stupid ass GoPro. The ZV-1's too tight. The ZV-E 10 thing coming is gonna be a piece of rolling shutter shit. My YouTuber light died. So did my dignity. But the autofocus didn't die. Honestly, Fuji XS10 with the kit lens, Canon M50 with its kit lens, ZV-1, you could do it. Hey, I'm a gaming channel and my camera takes up one one thousandth of the screen. Should I get the Sony A1 or do I upgrade it to the FX9? Okay, it's important. When you're this size, you need the best you can get. I know there's a lot of action going on out here. Trust me. Right here in the corner is where the action needs to lie, and it has to be good, it has to be great. I jump up Canon C500 Mark II, Canon 50mm 1.2, nope, 85mm 1.2 with the APD element to smooth your life and be cheaper. I would get the Canon R5 film in 8K, even though you're tiny, people will notice it, they'll be like, He's so tiny, but it looks sharp. That, he had, what are you filming on? You'll get that question. Then you can post an affiliate link. I just made you $3. Wow, speaking of $3, let's spend $3 more and switch to the Canon EOS R. And if the color's improved, I will piss my pants. <laughs> Canon color science. I'm out of focus. What happened? Is it like struggling? You piece of shit. Full frame glory is ours. And so will the joy of having your question answered for the next fellow. Hey Casey, thanks for writing so little. I love reading all these. Love these long ones too. Here's my first time asking you a question about gear. I have a budget around 5,000 Canadian dollars to buy my first mirrorless camera to make videos. I previously had a Nikon D7100 and then 1.4. Let's not talk about it. That sounds great. Just keep that, I'll buy yours. Is it for sale? But hey, I'll s they still suck. I'm looking at the A7C because I will need the autofocus as I shoot a lot of human subjects, music video, documentary, and maybe weeding and advertising? Weeding? So you're a gardener who weeds and you want to advertise it and you need some super expensive, ha. Huh? You probably meant weddings, you suck. But I'm gonna give you advice for weeding. I was looking at the S5 because of the price and colors, but after binge watching your videos for the past two months, I've switched my mind towards Sony, better ecosystem and AF. I plan on buying the A7C mainly due to eye autofocus gyrobaffect gimbal Sigma 28 to tone it to 0.8. I realize I'm skipping at least 15 words per sentence. Just, I'm trying to get through it fast. However, I don't know if I shoot or wait for the A7 IV, expect 10 bit color for 60. Invest in that instead. What do you think? I've also been contemplating the 21.8 because of you instead of the Sigma 28 of that, but it's crazy. If I want to have it at first lens, shooting music video narrative stuffs, right? I would like to know if 28 is wide enough for some like street landscape videography, not vlogging. I know it's too tight, 22 but Just let me know every thought in your head before I smack it off a cliff. Low light, if you could make a video about that would be nice. I don't remember any question from the whole thing. You wrote way too much. You 
gave too much detail. There's people who give no detail whatsoever. Hey bro, I shoot vlogs. That's actually pretty detailed. And then there's people like you, the scum of the earth, who give us every detail ever known. A7C, yeah, fantastic. For weeding, especially. Music videos, documentaries. Yeah, probably the 28 to... Why the 28 though? Doesn't that have terrible focus breathing or something? Get the 24 to 70. And you want the A7C because it has gyroscope to be paired with a gimbal? You, one or the other. Use a gimbal, you don't need the gyro. Why are you gonna stabilize and post if you're on a gimbal? I don't need, I want to give you a World War II camera full of radiation. But yeah, Sony A7C, Tamron 28 to 75, you're done. Why do you need the Sigma? Sigma's weird. You could get it, but the 28 to 70 has weird stuff. I remember it just not being right. It's not like Sigma. There's something off with it. They went for the compromise trying to match the Tamron, trying to get it tiny. And they did with downsides. Hilarious videos, could you offer some advice? I do paid portraits and astrophotography. Well, good thing you asked a vlogger. I'll, I got your back. As well as general photography for family vacations. Just everything, huh? Would you recommend a full frame or APS-C? Probably your phone. Probably your phone. Oh, paid portraits, okay. I see you, I see you. Of course, full frame you go for the magic. I currently have a D5300 with just a kit lens. That's disgusting. And I was looking at upgrading to either A6400 or A7R3, along with one or two good non-kit lenses instead of buying better glass for my old DSLR. Ouch. Why Sony? Why not just go Canon RP, 50 mil 1.8, you're done. You get good portraits, astrophotography, 50 mil is often used there, I, I would use it, and general photography for family vacations. Oh, it's a little tight. If your kids don't run, do you have lazy kids? Then you're fine. RP, all the way. I either want to spend as little possible to get the best camera glass I can afford, though the A7C looks like a good buy and could allow for more money for good glass. Thank you. You're welcome. Sony's gonna turn your family green. Canon's gonna be like, wow, that's a good looking family. I wish my family was like that. Canon RP, all the way. You could go 35 mil 1.8. We're doing it now. I like the 50, it's tiny. Look at, this is the thing I'm recommending you right now. I can't believe it was right in front of me the whole time. Look how light that is. That's smaller than most micro four thirds setups. You're getting the ton of balls. Bow, bow, bow. A blistering five frames per second, I think. Fantastic, 1080p. Wow. All the way, the grip, this grip. Wow, battery life. It'll last you a couple of shots. It's good. A7R3, you're gonna have to edit so much. You're like, oh, why aren't the skin tones? Oh boy. Oh, here you go. It's good, right? How come my skin's so green? What, what the hell happened? Are they? I didn't even notice it. So I, I bought a new Sony camera. I had a Nikon, but I went Sony. I got recommended advice by a vlogger. Oh man. I'm not paying for these, you know that. I don't look like that, it looks like Shrek. You want a Shrek ass, what the fuck is that? I spent four hours trying to change the green tones to magenta hues, and I failed. Do you have any idea how much coffee I drank at midnight? I peed the bed. Please buy it for $14. Buy one of these shots, so I can at least buy the coffee I stole out of my neighbor's garage. Let me repay my neighbor. That's what Sony brings you. Doom, joyless nights, pee in the bed. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max and an Insta360 ONE R Twin Edition. I want a proper cropped sensor camera for photography of models and talking head vlogs. XT200 again? You noobs. You couldn't search it one time for my video and XT30, Z50, or EM1 Mark II, though not cropped, is a thing you like. The hell was that? You want models photographied? You 
go full frame. Canon RP. That's your friend. This setup. Clicky ring. Oh, I want to focus now. Mm, how convenient is that? Your talking head vlogs just walking in the street. You have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Like, what are you doing? Little mic jack, boom. Easy. It's already there. You do have to set it up with a claw grip and tripod. And use the back lens, not the front facer. Nobody cares about that. Some guy sent me a video the other day. He's like, look, bro, I made a comparison like you. iPhone 12 Pro versus the GoPro. I was like, okay. And he's like, but right away, he said, I'm just gonna use the front face and cam because that's what you need. I need to see myself. And the whole video, I clicked off immediately. Nobody needs to see that garbage shit. If I wanted to see a garbage truck, I'd go outside of the dumpster vlog at midnight. See that guy peeing in his bed? Coffee ass freak. Why did these make me so angry? I don't know. But cropped sensor? That's bullshit. That's 1994 talk. You go with the Canon RP. That's what you deserve. You deserve it. And that's for this type of talking head vlog. When you're on the street walking around, you're iPhoning like a sheep that you are waiting for the iPhone 13 to upgrade to immediately because you don't need anything but love. As I watched this, I actually cried to my girlfriend. So I am asking if I don't need 4K 60, is it worth getting the X-T4 over the X-S10 for the price? The only thing you're getting is 10 bit you're done and 4K 60, but you don't need it. So 10 bit, will you see it? Barely, if you really push it on some, I think the Olympus looks cheap because of its 8 bit. Don't quote me on it. But whenever I switch to the Panty Boy, I'm noticing like a much richer image. And I think it's the 10 bit. Don't quote me on that. So for you, yeah, XS10 all the way. It's just worse battery, worse IBIS. Better autofocus? Hmm, why? Smaller, better grip? Custom dials that don't work for video? Thanks, Booge. As an X-T4 owner, I was very happy to give back the X-S10 and return to my X-T4, but it, I could use it. It's just that battery, the dinky batteries. Couldn't power a boat in my bathtub. Yeah, I'd play with them. All right, last question here. So before I bought a Fuji X-T4, I've been binging your videos. You're so entertaining, informative to first choose the right camera for me and the right lens for what I want. Up close makeup tutorials. Recording myself at desk, making beats on the computer, subject and street photography and short films. You added way too much. I'm already on, already set on Fuji, but did I choose the right lens? Mitocon Speedmaster? 35 mil, Tony 0.95, Mark II, and TT Artisan, 50, 1.2. Wow, that's interesting. For your stuff, okay, makeup tutorials. Every time you have to manually focus, you're tutorialing your whole face, yet only one eye's in focus. So stop it down. And the 50, 1.2 is even worse. You gotta be further away. It can be done. But every time for a makeup tutorial, you go with the Canon RP. It's got your pen. <laughs> you want autofocus for that, but maybe not. Maybe every time you move something in front of your eye, oh, I'm flicking my eyes. Beauty's so important to me. I'm shallow because I avoid my emotions. I don't need to pay attention to the inner hurt as long as I'm beautiful. As long as my herpes is makeup properly. I don't have to face my past. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? <laughs> so no, you didn't choose the right lenses. They're hard as hell to focus on yourself. Pain in the bitch, but they're glorious. The Mitocon, best looking lens you could get. If you don't mind doing stuff, I would stop it down a bit so we can at least see something. Your whole focus, you're probably gonna hit the ear only. You're gonna miss stuff. And every time you lean in, you're like, you're a moron. I just have zero confidence in Fuji autofocus. Unless you're right here, just know that you have to put a tiny box about that big somewhere for it to fall back to. If you're moving at all, good luck. So tighten it in a notch, maybe the 35 mil 1.8, 4, 1.4 for Fuji. 
that put out of focus with the box. If that fails you, you know where to go. Canon RP, flippy screen, autofocus never dies. 1.8, wow, more tone it, cheaper. Mm, that's interesting. Thousand bucks for the body, 200 for the lens. You're kidding yourself. You're kidding yourself right now. Honestly though, the Fuji will give you much better skin tones, I believe. Even the A7S III killed this thing the other day. I noticed it, it's something weird, over sharpened, but cheap looking. But like from a distance, if you move back enough, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Get a little Black Pro Mist on there. Not bad, but yeah, Fuji X-T4. You could go 23 mil 1.4 or the 35 mil 1.4. You're done. That's, you don't need these manual focus lenses. They're weird, they're good, but hard. So I've helped so many people. I'm just wondering where do I pick up my plaque of awards? Is there a, I'll wait. It'll come in the mail or something. You're welcome, all of you. And thank you for watching and buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. And thank you, Camera Cannon, for lending me the Canon gear. I'm not sending it back. Sorry. Ah, oh, the radiation. I'll leave. Subscribe for more videos, yeah? Ah, you piece of shit.